Well, with Memorial Day weekend just around the corner, a group of people spent their morning in the rain to show their gratitude for those who served our country. New tonight, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Brent Von Floor shows us how they did it. That's right, Nicole. The group planted flags on the graves of soldiers at Calvary Cemetery, honoring those who never made it home. Once you gather around the table here, we'll get started. With summer creeping in, many see this weekend as a chance to enjoy the luxuries that surround us. Memorial Day's turned into a party weekend. Uh, not for us, not for these people here. But the 50 or so who huddled in the rain at Calvary Cemetery this morning see it differently. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For them, it's a day of remembrance. Take two. Thank you. Thank you. And a chance to show their appreciation by planting over 700 flags on the graves of fallen soldiers. You saw a lot of them render a hand salute, a lot of, a lot of veterans here. A lot of us came back and we're just taking care of the ones who are buried here in our Catholic cemetery and that uh, didn't make it back. Known by some as Decoration Day, it's an age-old tradition dating back to the Civil War. Some of these tombstones do too. Others highlight more recent losses. Now in its fourth year, organizers say some traditions are worth taking the time to remember. You know, when you're belt high to your dad, it's your dad's job to teach you what the holidays mean. Same, and if you teach your kids what Memorial Day is, what Veterans Day is, and then the, the kid, they'll get it. Number them among your saints forevermore. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And there's a mass scheduled for Monday morning there at Calvary Cemetery. Organizers tell me they're expecting as many as 3,000 people to attend. Great story and a great reminder to thank all those servicemen yes. and women who have fought for our country. Right. Thanks, Brent. Yeah.